Welcome to the Leeward Islands District Devotional. This week, our devotional is produced by the Anguilla Circuit. I am Rev. Wilmoth O'Hodge, presenting today's devotional. The theme for the week is Finding Joy Through Peace. For today's focus, our sub-theme is Finding Joy Through Peace in Illness. Listen now to the song, Be Still and Know. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that Our scripture reading for this morning is taken from Mark chapter 5, verses 25 to 34. And a woman was there who had been subject to bleeding for twelve years. She had suffered a great deal under the care of many doctors and had spent all she had. Yet, instead of getting better, she grew worse. When she heard about Jesus, she came up behind him in the crowd and touched his cloak because she thought, if I just touch his clothes, I will be healed. Immediately, her bleeding stopped and she felt in her body that she was freed from her suffering. At once, Jesus realized that power had gone out from him. He turned around in the crowd and asked, Who touched my clothes? You see, the people crowding against you, his disciples answered. And yet you ask, Who touched me? But Jesus kept looking around to see who had done it. Then the woman, knowing what had happened to her, came and fell at his feet and, trembling with fear, told him the whole truth. He said to her, Daughter, your faith has healed you. Go in peace and be freed from your suffering. Let us pray. Like the woman who touched the hem of Jesus' garment, Lord, Many of your children today are suffering from various illnesses. We pray this morning that someone listening will indeed be touched by your mighty hand and receive not only a healing of their bodies, but also of their minds and their spirits. So fill us this morning, O God, with your presence so that This time of worship, this time of fellowship will be a hallowed time in your presence. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our theme for today's devotional is Finding Joy Through Peace in Illness. Let me begin by asking the question, what is illness? Illness is the state of not being well. Or it can be termed that illness is the opposite of wellness or the opposite of wholeness. Wellness 
and our wholeness is the desired state in which people want to live. However, we live with the awareness that our wellness, our sense of wholeness, can be disrupted with illness when we least expect. Indeed, illness cannot be predicted. Illness can destabilize life in so many ways. It can inhibit one's ability to function and carry out duties within the home, at work, within the church, and even affect one's recreational activities. Illness burdens the individual, not only physically, but mentally and emotionally. Apart from physical pain, upon hearing the diagnosis of any sickness or disease, whether curable or incurable, one is left to ponder, what does it mean for my future? The illness itself and the thoughts about it is burdensome in many ways. How can a person find joy in the midst of such pain and suffering? And if they once knew joy, how can it be restored? When one's mind is disturbed and their body broken, how can they find peace? Our scripture reading for today is an indication that Jesus dedicated his life towards promoting wellness because he knew how illness could disturb the peace and joy of individuals. Hence, the woman who was bleeding for 12 years was made whole in his presence as she touched him. And his word to her was, Daughter, your faith has healed you. Go in peace and be freed from your suffering. Her sorrow was turned instantly into joy by the assurance of Jesus' word. So too can the sorrow of all who suffer illness. You can rest in the assurance that by his stripes you are healed. In Christ, God has made a way for us to find joy through peace, even in our illness. That peace comes with a knowledge of a brighter tomorrow. That peace comes with a faith and an assurance of God's ultimate healing and salvation. Job opines in Job chapter 19 verses 25 to 26, I know that my Redeemer lives and that in the end he will stand on the earth. After my skin has been destroyed, yet in my flesh, I will see God. When the prophet Isaiah puts forth the mystery of the future deliverer, in Isaiah chapter 53 verse 5, he was speaking about the ultimate healing that comes from the shedding of Christ's blood upon a tree. He was speaking about healing from the real disease from which we suffer its symptoms in our bodies. That disease is sin. Isaiah 53 verses 5 and 6 reads, But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement for our peace was upon him, and by his stripes we are healed. With this knowledge, the one who suffers illness finds peace in knowing that God will indeed heal all who put their trust in him. While we hope that God will heal us from our sickness and disease in this life, we know that he can because he has done it before. Yet our greatest hope is in a future beyond our mortal existence where sickness and death will be no more. This is the hope that brings peace to the ill and brightens their life even in the midst of of pain. This is the hope that lifts the smile of joy upon the faces of those who face death, knowing that death is not the end of those who put their trust in God. Surely, with confidence, they can sing in spite of their illness, when peace like a river attended my way, 
when sorrows like sea billows roll, whatever my lot, thou hast taught me to say, it is well, it is well with my soul. My friends, it is in that moment of stillness and being surrounded by God's unfathomable love that you experience his peace and radiate the joy that comes from truly knowing him. In the third verse of George Matheson's famed hymn, O Love That Wilt Not Let Me Go, he writes, O joy that seekest me through pain, I cannot close my heart to thee. I trace the rainbow through the rain and feel the promise is not vain. That morn shall tearless be. Today you may be asking, how do I win today's struggles with tomorrow's hope? How do I overcome today's pain, not just with antidotal treatment today, but with a faith that tells me that I am more than a conqueror? A faith that brings me not to an end, but to a beginning, where there is no more suffering, nor grief, for all things are passed away, and all things are become new. A vision of a world where there is no more sickness, nor pain. A vision that puts a smile on my face, knowing that no matter what befalls me in this life, a new day is dawning, for weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Isaiah 26 verse 3 says, Thou will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee, because he trusted in thee. I pray that your faith will be as the woman who touched the hem of Jesus' garment. For that kind of faith will give you a sense of wellness in every area of your life today. If you are ill today, hear him then say as well to you, My daughter, my son, your faith has healed you. Go in peace and be freed from your suffering. In Christ alone, you can find joy through peace, even as you experience illness in your life. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, help your children to experience your peace through the promises of your word, promises of life and hope and wellness knowing that you are a God who loves us and knowing that all things work it together for good to those who love you and are called according to your purpose. Grant unto us your peace that will sustain us in the midst of illness. Amen. River